Charles Marshall Ney's cavalry charge. Oh, this is so awkward. Marshall Ney's cavalry charge was a very influential aspect of Waterloo, due to the fact that they lost so many men from an error of judgment from such a great leader. That's good. Ney saw what he thought was Wellington's army retreating. In fact, he was just moving the casualties from previous engagements back to hospital. They sent some French heavy cavalry and some Imperial Guard light cavalry to slaughter them. The Imperial Guard light cavalry were quick coming up on the slope where the British hid behind. However, the French heavy cavalry were slow getting up the slope. This meant that the British had time to form themselves into small squares. Historically, an infantry square, also known as a hollow square, is a combat form formation and infantry infantry unit formed in close order, usually when threatened with a cavalry attack, as Ney was, uh, sorry, as Wellington was. With the development of modern firearms and the demise of cavalry, this formation is now considered obsolete, which means it is not used in uh, modern warfare. formation was constituted as a hollow square or sometimes a rectangle, with each side composed of two or more ranks of soldiers armed with a single shot musket or uh, rifles with fixed bayonets. Generally, a bat batalion, battalion, approximately 500 to 1,000 men, was the smallest force used to form a square. Wellington's army at Waterloo was a tight formation less than 20 metres in length upon any side. Uh, once formed in a square, the infantry would volley fire at approaching cavalry either by file or by rank. In successful actions, uh, the infantry would often withhold fire until the charging horses and men were some 30 metres from the, from the square. The resulting casualties of the attackers would eventually form piles of dead and wounded horses and their riders which would obstruct further attacks. However, if the square was broken, as happened in Rio Seco, 1808, the infantry could suffer many casualties, although brave and well-disciplined infantry, like the English, could recover even from such a disaster. This fact was a fairly important factor in the outcome of the battle. Ney lost almost half his cavalry in this charge. This was a silly charge which would never have happened. However, this was not one of the main causes of the French losing this battle. Other factors affected the French in the battle.